Are you sick and tired of CB radio noise? I got a fix for you. One part, anybody can do it. Makes that radio sound a little bit more premium. And if old Johnny Jones can do it, you can do. It's Johnny Jones, I'm here at home. And a couple of years ago, I made a video on how to get rid of CB radio noise. You'll find that video up here. It's about grounding your radio and that will help tremendously. But there's also a chance that it will still have a lot of static on it. So how do you get rid of that? Basically all this mod is is a filter capacitor. I like to use a 0.068 microfarad capacitor, but you could use any capacitor you'd like. Just remember, the higher the capacitance, the more it might eat into your audio. So be careful with that. Now, wherever you buy your capacitors, eBay, AliExpress, whatever, just make sure you don't buy an electrolytic capacitor. You can identify these easy. They are cylindrical and they have a mark on one side. It means they can only be used in one configuration. So get these capacitors, anything but those. This also can be used with a switch if you'd like. I never really do, but you can always use it with a switch. Might want some solder, by the way, just in case uh, you want to solder something, and uh, you might want a soldering iron. Now, you can use this mod on any radio you'd like. Stereo systems, AM radios, FM radio probably wouldn't benefit, but you can slap this thing on anything. I chose a Cobra 29 because, let's face it, you probably have one in your closet. So, I figured it was common enough to use. You gotta pop the faceplate off. That's two screws each side, and you might want to yank off those knobs, otherwise you're gonna break something. Once you have the faceplate off, it's pretty damn simple. You take out the volume and uh, on-off switch. Now, if you have a radio which has different volume and on-off switch, that's totally fine. It'll work on this. Just choose the volume switch. In this case, we have a pair. We have a on-off switch and a volume switch. The on-off switch is in the back here. You'll see those two contacts. We don't want to choose those. You'll end up blowing something up. Now, most likely, if you attach a capacitor to that, it's not going to do anything. But seriously, don't mess with the power. Or you'll have that magic smoke come out <laughs> and i know about that what we want to do is locate the middle wiper of our volume pot that's up here middle contact right here we want to attach one side of that capacitor to it and then we want to attach the other side to a ground now you can use any one of these cans here right here and of course you can use any ground you like just make sure you know what you're doing because i've done some damage to radios <clears throat> well i went ahead and plugged out my soldering iron I figured first and foremost, I'd start by showing you guys the easiest way of doing this, which is just adding the cap to the radio and forgetting about it. But I didn't want to stop there. I figured I'd show you guys how to add a switch and change capacitance so you could change the noise level to your liking, or of course, turn it off entirely. I just broke the faceplate. All right, so I went ahead and I attached the capacitor to ground through this can. Now it's a pretty shoddy job, but it's not gonna stay there for long. Let me just show you what it can do. So this is channel six. You think, well, that's not that much noise. Let's turn on a power supply. All right. There you go. Now that has reduced the noise. We should still be able to hear people when they're talking, but it'll cut out all the high frequency noise. Now I'm gonna show you how to use a switch in this case. Well, that was a decent enough representation of noise reduction, but you probably want to know what it sounds like when someone's talking on this thing. Well, don't worry. At the end of the video, I'm going to leave you with a bunch of clips. That way you can decide if this mod's for you or not. But first and foremost, this is important. Don't skip this part of the video. This is really important if you want to add a switch, okay? I've done this mod countless times, but this is the first time I've made this mistake, just not thinking. So if you're going to add a switch, stick around for this, because this is really important, and you will destroy your radio, potentially, if you do this wrong. So, like I said, I made a critical error when I made this switch. So, what I ended up doing is connecting the capacitor between two legs here. Now, right here, this multifunction tester says capacitor. Well, that's not correct because it's in the off position. Of course, that's just parasitic capacitance. But let's switch it to the on position and let's see what it says. Now, by the way, you can get these testers for really cheap on AliExpress. I would recommend you get one. Ah, a dead short. Why? Because if you hook it up this way, what you're going to get is you're going to get not only the capacitor being connected, but you're going to get a connection here in the switch, which is going to dead short the entire thing. Don't do that. Bad. Bad. What you want to do is hook it in series. And that is like this. Now, here's the capacitor connected really close to ground. And up here, that connects to our switch. If you wanted to add more capacitance, you could add two in parallel. And that would connect to ground here, same as this. And that would give you extra noise reduction. Oh, and by the way, if people are too muffled when you add this capacitor in, just add two in series. That'll lower the capacitance. It'll still stop some of the noise, but it won't eat into audio frequencies quite as much. 
When you do this, remember it's best to use a multimeter to see if there's any shorts in the switch after you've soldered, because if you spend too long soldering, you can damage the switch. Looks like there's no short here, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out. All right, so I have the switch hooked up here. I did reduce the size of the capacitor I was using as far as the capacitance. Uh, this is a 0 0.047 capacitor. Uh, I would still recommend sticking with the 0 0.068, but um, this is uh, gonna reduce the noise a little less, just because I didn't want to clip out voice. But as you can see, it's still working very well. All right, let's look at some clips. Now you'll notice in these that the audio is attenuated somewhat by the mod. So if you're trying to listen to someone really far down in the noise, you might want to turn the mod off. But for local stuff, it sounds pretty good. I'll leave those clips at the end of the video. Oh, and by the way, I would pair this with a nice preamplifier so you don't even have to turn it off. In fact, eventually I'm going to make a video on how to make a preamplifier if you're interested in that. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. Hey, Roger, Roger, I'm the strawberry patch here. Why are you standing real good there, 109? Hey, good to hear you again, my friend of mine. I'm at the DX time. Hope you're not going to be a real fine. Hey, uh, 109, have a good day. Go straight. I've got to be clear that I'm gone, but hey. Hey, FO10, like this. I'm doing it in yours. I'm doing it in all of them. That mud duck, he's down here from Channel 28 because he forgot what these butt weapons look like. He forgot what they look like. So a couple years ago, I used this same mod on a radio. I'm going to leave those clips at the end of the video so you don't get so bored. But I'm going to say goodbye. And if you like the video, subscribe and like it because it took me a while to make this one. Anyways, until next time, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later, punk. What are they uh, I've been fixing your damn radios. I had time to kill the rock you. So you haven't lost the trebles and the voices, and that's what I was aiming for. Uh, if I sound a little bit under the weather, it's because I've been under the weather my whole life. I've never been above the weather, that's for sure. That'd be weird. I'd be in outer space. Anyways, this is Johnny Jones. I'm here at home, and uh, I'll see you later.